morning guys, YouTube people world, everywhere, wherever, wherever, wherever. Have fast 719. Back at you with another video. Of course, always doing the videos. Um this video today is but what you need to buy when you own a mega cab. First item you need to buy. You might not guess it. Actually, let's do a walk around of my truck and uh, then I'll show you what you need to buy for a mega cab. So, just got done washing him. Got him all dolled up for the car show. As you can see, maybe. A dent's there, dent's there. Not that noticeable, but whatever. It's all washed up. Do have uh, moisture getting into my headlights. As you can see, here, 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 and somewhere else. I don't know. No big deal. Got the wheels all cleaned up. <coughs> if you guys know me, I don't like intricate like uh, designs and wheels. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I don't like all these stupid lines like the uh, 2012 I had. Yeah, they were gold. But uh, they were a solid piece because then it's hard to clean in here. I have a wheel brush somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Probably melted it. Did something. Sorry for the wind. But anyway, there's the beast. Let's see. The paint match is pretty good, I think. It'll. Uh, It'll doling up a little bit. I'm trying to cover for the microphone. I don't even know where the mic is. Anyway, I think uh, what I'm going to do today is I think I'm going to try to take this off. I did this in my 2012 and uh, I really liked the way it looked. Um, I'm going to pull all this off. This stuff is baked on because this truck was from Arizona. So it's pretty baked on. Um, I will buy some more paint. Some more Krylon paint. I think because the next... Uh, my next half... Oh, that was weird. Looks like it's like got a line in it. Anyway, the next days off I'm going to take. I think I'm going to take these mirrors. Look at that guy. Anyway, I'm going to take these mirrors off. And I'm gonna paint these. Um, I gotta figure out how how I should paint them because oh man, I should flip these mirrors. I'm gonna flip these mirrors and I'm gonna clean them. Oh, so ugly with mirrors up. It's a good good idea, good invention. I like it when I tow. If I tow my toy hauler. Um, anyway, I'm gonna paint the handles and the mirrors. Um, I think today I'm going to take this off. Uh, the B pillar, I guess it's called. B pillar. Um, uh, I needed help. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take those off. Today I'm going to use a heat gun. I'm going to attempt to take them off. Hopefully I can get them off. The last ones I took off in my 2012, it took me about four, four or five hours. Um, without taking a break and uh, I don't know I want to take them off but at the same time I don't because they're kind of a pain in the butt so I'm just going to clean all this in here um, but yeah and I'll just leave this up let it dry S salute all the wrecked Rams, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm getting to it, guys. I'm getting to it. Let me do this mirror, too. Um, got a buddy coming over. The guy who has my 2012 Ram. He's actually going to come over and borrow my trailer today because he's going to go pick him up a little tractor. Oh, 
Um, he wanted to borrow my tractor. I told him he can borrow it. I was going to load it. And then uh, I found a little tractor just like mine, but I think it's two-wheel drive. And it needs a starter. Um, but anyway. All right, guys. Okay, now I can sleep. Now I can sleep. I'll leave those up. It looks so much better when they're white. So, all right. First thing you buy when you buy a Mega Cat, obviously, you're gonna wanna wash it, right? Everybody washes their cars and trucks. First thing, obviously, soap, water, sponge, whatever. Buy yourself an RV brush. This one extends stands out, stands in. I forgot I had this for my toy hauler. I had to hang it up up there. You've probably seen it in other videos. It connects to a hose. However, this one's so old, it'd probably just break if I uh, hooked it up to a hose. Um, yeah, get yourself one of these brushes because cleaning that top, man, you can, I can only, being 6'3", that I am, I can only get to about right here, eh, maybe right here, so from there to there, and then when I sit on, stand on the wheel, I can only get about right here. I can barely get the, the front here, so I'm missing from here to here, where I can't reach, unless I stand on top of the cab, but what kind of idiot's going to stand on top of the cab? So anyway, pick yourself up a Home Depot bucket or spend $12 on a, uh, whatever those guys, chemical guys, freaking buckets. Um, they have the little uh, separator in them so that this much of the water is dirt water and then above that there's no dirt to get on the sponge. I don't use that because I live in the desert. Maybe one day I'll get one of those. I do have a foam cannon. I have a pressure washer. It's just a pain in the butt to get out and to do that. And I ain't got time for that crap. Um, this stuff is my ultimate go-to. Uh, Wax and Dry by Turtle Wax. Love this stuff. This is uh, the number one stuff I use. Um, I don't use it on the Audi. Um, get yourself a tire brush. A sponge a good quality sponge um, or uh, whatever you call that a mitt that one I like I've had that one for man 15 years 20 years um, but definitely get, get yourself one of these brushes must have for a mega cab and obviously if you have a trailer which I do I just haven't used it so alright guys that's gonna be it for this video the drunken ram is washed, ready for the car show happening tonight. Actually, I take that back. Ready for the show happening tonight. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Check out my other videos. Go to the playlist and uh, look at the drunken ram. See all the stuff I've done to it. You can look at my Black Pearl 4th Gen. You can see all the stupid stuff I did to that truck. Um, but I've always wanted to make a cab, and now I own one. And it's white. All right, guys. And it's color matched. About 80%. 75% color matched. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.